there are different ways to market. One is just by sending a text with 160 characters. Maybe you're responding to somebody. Maybe you're sending a text. And maybe you're sending a text with a link to go somewhere else. An MMS is where you're actually uploading an image or a video or something that they can see inside the, of the message. That's what makes it be a little bit longer than a text because you're adding that multimedia service to it. Now, text message marketing or MMS marketing is really going to depend on what type of marketing that you want to do. There's so many different types of marketing that you can do as a small business. The first one is mass texting. And inside your system, that would be if you had gone to your contacts, selected a bunch of contacts, and then decided to send all of these contacts a text. By sending a mass text, that's where the warm-up feature is in play. You want to make sure that you've got those 5,000 texts per day, that you have a good reputation with the carriers, because sending bulk texts can be blocked if you're not using the warm-up. Now, what I like about sending a bulk text is you can select a bunch of different customers at the same time, maybe 50 to 100, and send them all the same message. The message could be something like an update or some information, and you're setting all of the customers or all of the people based on a certain segment. So if you segment your contacts by smart list and by products or services, it's easy to send out a bulk text to all of those people within that smart list or all of the people that you have organized based on a certain product or service. One-to-one -one texting is most common. That's where you'll use the SMS to basically send and reply to a message coming in to and from your leads, your customers. If it was a missed call text back, if it was your web chat widget, that's one-on-one -on -one where you're talking one-on-one -on -one to the person. When you're using the MMS feature, it's just you're adding an image, which makes it to an MMS. Even though it says SMS here, if you're attaching an image, then it would revert to an MMS, meaning you have multimedia attached to it. You can do that in bulk, or you can have those one-on-one -on -one conversations using MMS as well. So just to confirm, when you're using anything that says SMS throughout your system, it becomes an MMS when you attach a picture or some type of multimedia. Text messaging is very popular. And the reason why it's very popular is because you think you don't want to text your customers, but when you text your customer, they're more than likely to reply quick because you're right on the phone that they're carrying with them all the time. So you want to be cautious on the types of messaging that you're sending because you don't want to them to reply stop, go into a DND, &D, or hurt your reputation by spamming people. Using one on one texting helps you build your relationship. Using the mass texting by sending out group texts can be difficult. I recommend using the one on one when you're first getting started with your software and then graduating to the mass text messaging when you know that your customers are not going to DND &D you. Remember, you always want to make sure that they opt in and that you have all of your compliance as well. Other great things to do when it comes to texting, not just a talking to people in contacts, conversations, or messaging or managing your opportunities, but utilizing automation. I recommend using automation when you're doing things like maybe a text survey or a text contest. Maybe you've got a unique promo code where they can text to your number a specific promo code. Maybe you're running a birthday campaign or a special on a certain product. You can also do things like using mobile coupons where you create a little image of a mobile coupon that you can send to people. Utilizing workflows allows you to create those types of campaigns. Also, using automation allows you to not send all of the texts all at once. For example, if you have somebody maybe on a birthday campaign, and let's just say they come in and put their birthday, this birthday campaign runs every year. So if you have two or 300 people in a birthday campaign, it's not going to send two or 300 people a birthday message all at the same time because they don't all have the same birthday. So it allows you when you use automation to really manage that bulk sending and make it more specific to the campaign that you're running. If you have a campaign that has updates, 
then you would run an update campaign. You can even do things like a drip campaign, which allows you to batch texts in specific intervals. So you can send them through a certain time and how many go through within the batch. Utilizing workflows for your marketing campaigns can be really great. Another great example besides a birthday campaign might be a promotional campaign. You have your text maybe on a website, or billboard ad, or an ad that you've placed somewhere and you tell them to text, let's say for example, burgers to that number. When they text burgers to that that number, you send them a text that says you've opt in to receive messages from us. You can also do things like reward programs. Have somebody sign up for a text reward program. Say text loyalty to our number and then you have a loyalty program where each month it sends them out a text that says maybe you're a restaurant, buy one, get one free or get 10% off your next order. There's a lot of things that you can do when it comes to SMS marketing. But I really recommend rather than sending just bulk, start with the one-on-one -on -one text, build your reputation, and create campaigns that involve text and email that allows you to be able to send those texts, not all at once, but dripping them out based on when people enter in the workflow. So let's show you the areas that you would use texting would be contacts by sending out a text to a few different people or multiple people, which would be considered a bulk action. You can also go into conversations and you can reply to your customers or potential leads using SMS. You can also use your web chat widget to add on your website to respond. All those responses will come into conversations using your web chat. The other way to do it is when you go right into contacts, you can select your contact, and this is how you can manage the DND. If your customer doesn't like texting, be sure to turn it off. Then they won't get a text from you. If they prefer texting and not email, go ahead and turn off the email. It's a great way to manage your customer preferences as well. They will automatically be sent to DND if they text stop or unsubscribe to an email, and that's for your protection. The other thing that you can do in here with DND is if you get a bunch of calls that are coming in, you can actually look at that contact and mark the inbound caller as a DND so you stop getting those texts or calls inside your system. You can manage your SMS for your day-to-day -day business inside your contacts, your conversations, and your opportunities, or you can utilize automation to create those powerful workflows in drip mode or having them coming and going into workflows for a variety of different promotional contests and creating those unique loyalty programs and codes.